I see that net player here covering that line a lot. Yeah, yeah, good pickup. Now let's watch that again. There's another thing I want to show as well, but you notice the net player. On this side here, covering her line quite lots and then uh, avoiding that ball. Yeah, and unfortunately she ended up missing it. Um, another thing I notice is, uh, I think from a good perspective, here's a high volley. So from a high volley, you can attack a net player and then and they have to defend and that's what he does here. Now the net player is good enough to reflex it and get it back and it gets it back down low, right? That's a tough one to do. So yeah, so now the mistake would be to hit it back to the net player when you have to volley up. But to his credit, he doesn't make that mistake and he goes back to the baseliner um, and takes net position. But you're right. I mean, if you have a look at the his partner, who's on the net pretty close to the single sideline and he's kind of right in the middle. Uh, here's another high volley and he chose to go back to the person who was further back um, where I think probably the best option would have been to go down through here, don't you think? Yeah, he had that forehand out of the middle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so that volley kept it in it, didn't really um, move the opponent there and unfortunately uh, his partner mm -hmm. missed the last shot there. Um, all right, next point. Let's see it. And again, once yeah. again, the, the, the net player could have had that with her forehand. Yeah, and so let's highlight this again because we showed uh, we showed the net player earlier where they had where they had uh, good balance. Mm -hmm. And on this occasion, the ball comes in and she splits and she goes to her left, right? Right, well, she's And then if down. we stop here, I mean, to me, the ball is probably on top of the net about here and it's pretty close to her. So that's a, you know, that's a racket out for a forehand volley if you're balanced, but unfortunately she popped up and she went to her left. You can see all her sort of weight goes to her left foot there. And so the return is able to get past her through the middle of the court. Um, so here we have, you know, potentially someone who's a bit worried about her line um, mm -hmm. rather than on the middle a bit more. And here's another example. Here the opponent is defending with an open racket face um, and she's all the way over to her left and the lob does go up over her head. Um, but she's a long way over there, so not very proactive in, in taking the middle is what I would say in that in that situation. Mm -hmm. Well, and those, you know, the, the burns down through the alley hurt, but realistically, unless you're getting burned occasionally down through the alley and, you know, whether they miss or they get them in, uh, you're not really covering the, the meat of the court, that middle. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So the point goes on and a lot more pressure on the, on the male player here to do, to do a lot more work than he, he probably should. Yeah. Yeah. She on this occasion, <laughs> yeah. On this occasion, she's able to put the overhead away. So that had to feel, uh, that had to feel good. Yeah. Again, you see the smiles, you see the energy. I mean, you know, this is what doubles all about getting out there with your friends or your coworkers or your uh, partners. Yeah. And, uh, and having fun. There's another ball that, you know, this ball here is hit pretty deep from the guy in the green shorts. And now the net player, I, you know, should really be looking, sorry, I got the wrong tool there. Should really be trying to slide over and look this way um, towards the middle. Right. So as he makes contact here, she actually goes to her right uh, and the ball comes, you know, I can highlight the ball here if you like. And, and you're saying My, that she should, be, she should be pinching and coming more a little bit towards the middle there because that return was so solid and deep. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So as it comes into play, I mean, it's it's over the net here um, and she's pretty close to it, but she's, you know, going backwards and to <laughs> her right. So she's not able to cut it off. Right. All right, let's keep going here. That's a good shot. Yeah, good nice call, angle there. Oh, yeah, and she went for that opening in between those two players. Yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, so another fun point, everybody involved. Um, just if we watch it again, keep an eye on the net players and, and a little bit probably different to the four boys that we saw at the beginning mm -hmm. in that the net players here are less involved. So there's more balls going through the middle. They're more, a little more worried about their line, mm -hmm. um, a little closer to their sideline. You see that on the far side. Mm -hmm. There seems to be more movement left and right. And, and, then, and then forward and backwards is, is quite careful. Yeah, no, that's right. And there isn't as much sort of pinching on the middle trying mm -hmm. to uh, trying to create less space on the outside. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, as a doubles team and as a doubles player, you want to try and encourage people to hit it into small spaces that they're not going to be able to repeat. And that means down your line, because if they if they miss going down your line, the ball's out. If they miss going, you know, cross the, court, the ball's in the middle and it's still yeah. in. Yeah. Um, so just creating that pressure with your positioning is, is a great way to uh, accumulate pressure on the opposition. And that's what the, the best doubles players do. Yeah, no, great point. All right, on to the next point. I think we've got a few left here. Back into night tennis. Huh. Good approach. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, we saw this player again having that ball in the middle. And I think, you know, where I see this often happen is when you do have a player at the net, like in this case, the player in the gray here, and it's her backhand volley. And it's a bit of a higher shot through her backhand volley, potentially, and she doesn't take it. Or in that case, you could have been even an overhead. And then yeah. the player on this end here in the green shorts ends up with a forehand in the middle to deal with. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. That's probably the biggest overhead we've seen of the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is which is what I've been encouraging the whole time, right, Yurosh? Get up there and smack that overhead. Did, did you save that one for last on purpose? Or? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, that, that's all the points that we had. Do you want me to, yeah. uh, I'll come out of sharing my screen yeah, you here. You can do that, yeah. No, and you know, uh, before we finish here, uh, you know, besides, of course, uh, your time and, and work around these points, I'd also like to thank the players for, for donating these, uh, these clips of, of, of their playtime. So I think it's, uh, it's amazing to see something that happens in real life on court all the time for these players, and hopefully they can take away some things from this. No, and I think it shows absolutely how how powerful video can be too, right? I mean, it's, yeah. you know, they're, they're probably a few of these people are cringing on a few of the points they see and then a few of the other ones are like, oh, wow, I did that, you know? Yeah. So there's always good things that you do and there's always yeah. things that you can improve and you want to use video, I think, to facilitate both. Hey, look at this. This is really good what you've done here. Oh, okay, and then look at this one. This is something that you can do better. Yeah. Um, but I did have a couple of takeaways um, from these videos if you're interested Please. in hearing them. Definitely. Um, we mentioned it several times, but I mean, so many of these points were so cool. Everybody involved, volleys, lobs, yeah. great, you know, drives, angles, drop shots. Um, this is why we play doubles for these points. So it's just fun to see good tennis being played and the people having fun um, playing doubles. Uh, a point I think that I learned throughout my career was to volley to space. I mean, volley away from people when you can. Um, people are pretty good and they're going to reflex and get balls back. So if you have an easy shot, um, sometimes it's better to go around somebody than through somebody. Um, so that's something to keep in mind and consider. Um, be less worried about your alley and cover the middle. So these are things we talked about, right, yes. um, throughout the thing. And then you heard me um, talk about the overhead and getting up and hitting it. And I, I told you, Euros, when we play yeah. doubles together, you're going to get that overhead. Okay? Oh, I better get out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> so I encourage you to yeah. go to your pro, go to your coach uh, and say, hey, uh, the overhead something I'm going to, I, I would like to get better at. I want to have feel a bit more confidence with it. Um, take the advice from Louis Cayer, you get about getting back to the service line and before the ball and you'll almost get everything. Um, but work on your overhead because lobs happen in doubles quite a lot. And if you can get up and use that aggressive shot, you're going to improve your game and with it, your chances uh, of winning. Uh, and then I think the last thing that we did mention is when the volley's low, below the level of the net, uh, we usually want to go to the person who's further back. Um, yeah. 
rather than popping it up to the person who's closer to us. And then when the ball, when the ball's up, now we can look for a bit more space or perhaps we yeah. can attack the person at their feet a little bit and make them volley up. So yeah. that was some of the points that I that I took away from, from watching these yeah. awesome tennis points. Yeah. And, and, you know, one thing to add to, to some of your points that you added here, just, you know, coming in and closing the net, putting pressure on the opponents, you know, triggering that law rather than being afraid of it. Mm -hmm. You know, by moving forward um, is, is a really a big takeaway for many as well. So, yeah, no, I think a lot of great points. Uh, Steven, uh, always a pleasure. I really thank you for your time and for uh, sharing your experience and knowledge with us. And I look forward to uh, hopefully many more of these. Great to be here. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, talk no soon. Take care. Cheers.